Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 12. Holy cow, three months I've been working at this. I don't know if I'm getting any better, but if you have uh, comments or questions or just want to give me some tips, feel free to put some things in the comments below. This week, I'm going to go from the bottom up. The bonus is a musical instrument, and I have a bunch of stickers here that are musical instruments. Something you could give as a gift. And I thought of money, and I have some, I've chosen the 500 for a very specific reason. Um, basically, if I could give $500 away, at, you know, just because, I would do it. But I never have $500 just to hand out to people. So at least I can do it with Monopoly money. A paper that has a stain or is stained. This is my stamping off paper. Obviously, I was using some purple at one point to try out some stamps. And um, so there's my stained. A fragrant item from my surroundings. And I have chosen the lilac. There's also a lily and looks like maybe a peony in there, uh, but the lilac is the one I'm going to go for. There's a lilac bush right outside my window that is just starting to turn green. It's just starting to go into bud. And I am from Rochester, New York, which has hundreds, literally hundreds, maybe thousands of lilac bushes uh, in Highland Park and I love to go to see to see the lilacs so, and it's very fragrant believe me when you go the pick piece of a postcard either side this was a download that I'd gotten at one point and had done on cardstock there's nothing on the back side I had kind of figured I'd use it as a tuck-in at some point but I've had it hanging out for over a year time to use it up and a tool commonly found in a garden this one has been driving me crazy because I can't find a picture of a trowel or a spade or just anything. I can't find anything, little pictures of garden stuff. And then I found this. And uh, Paulette Slater, uh, it's TLC Creations. I'll link to her coffee shop. This is a freebie she currently has up on her coffee shop. And I just, it's adorable, absolutely adorable. And there's, uh, I think, five little animals, and they're all gardening. And I figured, okay, there's my trowel, and there's a little bucket, and yeah, we'll take the little chickadee, little chick. All right, so I have already put down a backing page. This was a, just a, a piece of... Uh, it's not really even cardstock. It's more like letter stock. It's it's a very thin paper that I've had hanging around for a while. And I thought I would take it. And I don't think I want all of this. I think I'm going to use only a piece, part of it. Or maybe I'll use it, but I'll divide it up. Come on down here. Maybe we'll do this. And I have this postcard and I can put the bird on the postcard to kind of frame the po the bird at my 500. And then I could just put you guys in as decoration thereabouts. Okay, I am gonna trim this up a little bit. I don't like it to take up too much space. I want it to take up very little space. And I'm not so sure that that's even down at the bottom. So there we go. That trims that up a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and start putting things down. I do have my glue stick and I have my glue book. So let's go ahead and put these things down. I am obviously back from my retreat. If you have not caught the videos yet of the journals that I have made, I will put a link to those down below. Those are for sale in my coffee shop. 
Um, I am considering stopping my Etsy store. I'm not getting a lot of traffic to it, and it's costing me money. It's starting to cost me more money than the journals, so I think I might just switch over. Besides which, on the coffee shop, if I want to mail it out, when I when I sell something from the coffee shop, it doesn't cost me a commission, whereas Etsy does. So I'm thinking it might be time to make a switch. Watch for an announcement of that coming up. I'll make my decision soon. Okay. Yeah, I, I have a, a lot of these Stampin' Off pages. I just tend to put down um, all the extra ink on them, and then I generally cut them up and use them. Although this one's very purpley because I was playing off with a playing with a bunch of stamps. Five hundred dollars. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to just give people five hundred dollars? You need money? Here you go. You don't need money? Here you go. I think that just would be nifty. I would love to be a philanthropist. Okay. This one I'm going to use uh, my Fabri-Tac on because it's a heavier cardstock and I want to make sure that it sticks. So as I'm doing these, I'm trying to learn a little bit more about composition. So I have put these things down very specifically. I'm framing the outside with the pages, with the purple pages. I'm putting this in the center to start bringing the focus in. And then this fella becomes my center focus. And the money this way becomes a point of interest up in the corner. And I thought about distressing around it, but I really kind of like the brighter color here. Okay, my lilac. Now these are not cut out. I have to cut, I have to fussy cut these, but it won't take me long. Obviously I pre-cut my, my fussy cutting of my little chicky. Mm, yeah, let's go this way. Cut those guys right out. And come back to them. This one has a little butterfly on it. And I chose my purple Stampin' Off page to go with the purple here. So I'm going to get a little piece of tape. If you have not used this method in taking the washi off, it really is an excellent way of getting the, you take the front from the back, not the back from the front. And again, in the interest of framing, Let's put these, I don't know if you ever have had a lilac bush. One of the things that my mom taught me how to do when I was real little was to take a blossom before the bees get to it. And if you take the, one of these tiny little blossoms off of the lilac, the bigger lilac blossom, you can suck the honey out of the back end of it. And as a kid, I remember, because every, it seems like every house in Rochester has a 
lilac bush in the backyard. Rochester used to be known as the Flower City, F-L-O-U-R, because we had a lot of flower mills, because we have the falls right there, but and the Genesee River. But then it got known as the Flower, F-L-O-W-E-R City, because of all the nurseries that were there. And then um, Highland Park was designed by Frederick Law Olmsted. Some of you may know him better from his work on Central Park. He designed Central Park. But he also designed several in several of the parks of Rochester, including Highland Park with its probably thousands of lilac bushes. There, I like that. I have this extra white one. And if I don't use it up, I'm only going to lose it. So let's go ahead and use up the white one. It won't show up quite as well, but what the heck. We'll just stick it over here in the corner. And this fussy cutting doesn't take hardly any time because I'm not being particularly fussy. I'm only being a little fussy. So yeah, you just put a piece of tape on the back end, the, the back side of a sticker, and then you peel the front away from the back and it comes right off. It's much easier. Let's put you down here. And then we can put you in. And this is my, tells me what I'm doing. This is week 12, and I was despairing of ever finding anything gardeny, but then I did. Because these, I knew I had the, the musical instruments right away. Let's take the long skinny. I've had the this thing of musical instruments for a long time, and I have a couple more of them, so I'm okay using them up. Put the long skinny here. I'm looking at shapes here now rather than objects and where I would like these shapes. So I'm putting them at opposite ends. And I should probably put three in. I have all these musical notes. Let's put a set of musical notes here. And one here, slightly off my page. Okay, just I've got another one. I want to put it up or down. I think let's center it down here. I don't think that bent up. Oh well, it bent up on me. All right, so that's the Marguerite Miller Challenge, week twelve. And there we go. Please, again, if you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the like button to let me know that you're really enjoying this particular video as well as YouTube. And then if you have comments about composition or choices or whatever, please put, the, put a comment down below. Give me some feedback. All right. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.